How's it going, guys? It is Chris Damianakos, game producer of Cash Run. I hope this finds you well uh, today. So we're going to talk about team dynamics and team creation. Now, I know a lot about this just because I have worked as a game producer uh, with many, many, many clients in the last 20 years. And team creation or team dynamics is such an essential part of what we do. Now, the key thing is when people come to us at the beginning, it's always an inquiry to find out what we do, what our products are all about, what our games are uh, all about. And then the next question after you know, us you know, explaining the game is, do you as our company create the teams or do we as the client create the teams? Ultimately, it is the client that creates the teams. And some clients know exactly how to go around this and there's many clients that don't know and then we try to guide them. And the key essential part of team creation or team dynamics is understanding your players and your individuals. Now, a lot of people would assume, you know, on the school playground when we were kids, there's cliques and all that and everyone wants to be with their friends and to form a team when they play a game of kickball or dodgeball or whatever that game might be. But the key thing is, even on the school playground, like when we do field trips for schools or camps right up to the corporate level, even right down to a wedding party or birthday, we try to explain to our clients how to utilize team dynamics, and that is understanding your, um, your players. Now, I want to bring it down to the smallest uh, scenario. Let's take if it was a wedding party, all right, and the bride has uh, 20 people coming to her bachelorette party. And 10 of those players happen to be from high school and the other 10 happen to be from college. Well, the ultimate thing is we don't want them to, you know, you know let's say your high school friends, uh, the bride's high school friends haven't seen everybody for so many years. They're so great, you know, to see each other and high five and hugging and loving and all that type of stuff. And the same thing with her college friends. The key thing is games are a social type of product and ultimately what you want to do is create friendships i know it sounds kind of corny but that's what you do so something like this where a bride has brought two groups of different types of friends from two different parts of her life well you take those two and you mix them because in a game primarily in a team dynamic they have got to socialize no matter what because in most cases as a team each member of the team is assigned a certain portion of uh, their strategy their team building how they're going to come their final objective their execution and then at the end well people that did not know each other suddenly get to know each other after a two-hour game per se and they have sh stories to uh, share and stories to talk about and then that actually crosses to their uh, other team that they competed against. And now they share stories. And now new friendships are created. On and on and on. That is the smallest example. Now, in regards to when we do these for field trips or major corporations, it's not 20 people. It's 100 people. It's 200 people. There's more forms of team creation, more forms of team dynamics, more forms of friendships, more new uh, open areas of social conversations. And that's such a really cool thing. So team dynamics and team creation, you should know your players for the most part and try to create teams of people that normally do not know each other. Now, it's so funny in regards to, um, you know, in school, you have certain circles. It happens, right? It's been there for generations. The key thing is to bust those circles, to, uh, bust those circles and put them together. So let's say you got your rockers and your jocks. Well, you don't want all the jocks on one you know, team and all the rockers, you know, on the other. You want to mix them. Because there might be a good chance that the rockers and the jocks never talked to each other in four years of school. And unfortunately, on that senior trip after their last year of high school, by doing that, now they're conversing. And who knows, it might, might cross after graduation. 
There are many people's and people in a corporate outing that I kid you not, I've heard this before many times that work on the same floor, but outside of a good morning and a good night normally do not converse. That's insane. And th these are grown ups. Maybe I can understand that in a school uh, type of setting, but I see it and hear about it in that regard. And the, in, in that particular type of model, as far as a corporate, you got to mix them. And by mixing them, again, it starts new friendships. You know, two people that normally wouldn't go out for a drink after work now are going after uh, after work for a, for a cocktail. These, this is how it is. You have to study it. Now, what about I've talked to many meeting planners that don't know the group because they're coming from different parts of the world, coming for a conference. Take the time to find out about these people. Get to know them. It might sound like a humongous task, but trust me, at the end of it you will be totally satisfied in regards to what the final execution is. Just get to know them. And if you, get, if you can't get to know them personally, find out about them. By, let's say if you have colleagues, you know, you're having your event in the US, however your colleagues are in, you know, some of the colleagues are in Germany, well, find out from the manager there, how are these people? You know, are they, are they introverts or they extroverts? And then that way, that's how you team build before the team building exercise in itself. In conclusion, let's talk about 2020. We're in a COVID-19 type of scenario. It's unfortunate. We don't see these conferences happening this year, for sure. People can't travel or that some can, but it is a very limited capacity. So how do people t uh, tend to uh, be a form of a mixer or a team building event. Obviously, virtual games have become a huge thing. Well, can you not form a virtual team? You can absolutely form a virtual team. And to be honest with you, this form of team build or team creation or team dynamics is actually much more exciting. And I'll explain to you why. Being that a lot of people due to social distancing cannot be side by side, but we will soon be there. Well, they're in different types of, of different parts of the world. I want you to um, understand that. And so when you create your teams for a virtual team building game, what you're exposing from your players is also their location. So it might be a, a scenario where John doesn't know, you know, John from... Ohio isn't uh, uh, familiar with Maria from Italy, but they're colleagues, they work for the same company. However, though, not only are they gonna to get to know each other as colleagues in a social virtual platform, but they're gonna know about or be exposed to their areas. So if Maria lives in Italy, and let's say she lives in Florence, and depending on the team building game that you decide to choose, well, it might be an outdoor environment. And think wisely on your team building game, especially if it's a game um, that exposes the outdoors. That's the type of team building game that you want to utilize, especially in a spring, summer and fall outing. And then uh, make sure that it exposes the locations of these individuals, because it's also an introduction, not only to the individual, but to their area. So again, those are a variety of different types of ways of team building team dynamics and team creation. Is it always gonna be virtual? My personal opinion, it's gonna be 50-50. At pre-COVID, I'd probably say not yet, but we're there. I am a big, big firm believer, as a lot of us are, that we're social beings, that we need to be in front of our uh, fellow colleagues, friends, and family members. But that time will soon come, probably around the corner, a few months, maybe a year down the road. But in this time, take the time to utilize maybe a virtual game and um, and uh, form team dynamic and team creation. It's actually gonna be a lot easier on a virtual world uh, for the time being until we hit the, you know, the physical world. So guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video, maybe took a couple of notes. Uh, but again, I'm very, very familiar in regards to team dynamics and creation just by working with really hundreds upon hundreds of different uh, types of clients within the last 20 years and really several thousand teams uh, in my 
20 years of doing these games. So uh, enjoy your game, whatever that game might be. Hit that little bell if you could for me. It'll notify you in the next video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, hopefully you like the video. So hit that like button. It tells YouTube that we're doing a decent job. And it also tells me that you're enjoying our videos. Thanks so much. Enjoy your day. Stay safe.